This is my Lego safe. You might be thinking, it's made out of Lego, so obviously it doesn't work. Well, I'd have to say you're wrong. With the right combination, this safe indeed works. Display your favorite Lego products on these handmade Lego shelves from Mana Crafting High. These shelves come in a variety of shapes, sizes, color, and styles, so you can get them custom made to fit your Lego needs. Visit the link below for more information and use the promo code BRICKLEVER10 off to save on your order. Full disclosure, I did base this safe off the safe made by Jason from JK Brickworks. You can check out the video of his safe down in the description below, and I suggest go watching that video, but after you've watched my video. Before I show you in more detail how the safe actually works, I'm going to show you the components of the safe. At the front of the safe here, as you can see, we have this custom painted by me dial with the numbers on it. We have the little pointer so I know which numbers to go to. We have the deadbolt, and then we just have a variety of bricks and plates just making this look like a more unique and detailed safe. On each side of the safe here, I actually use these NHL LEGO hockey pieces just because I think they look pretty cool and they do the job perfectly. The back of the safe here is definitely the most unattractive part of the mock, but you never see it, so why does it really matter? Before I show you how to open the safe, I'm just going to show you what the inside of the safe does look like. It's basically this really long and ugly box. On the top of it here, you can see the gears, and then there's this little plate holder thing. And then the inside, this is actually where you store things. Like right now, I'm storing my Brickler 18 LEGO USB stick. Here's what the inside of the LEGO case looks like, the LEGO safe case. As you can see, I use more of these hockey pieces as the sides and then just more plates. Lots of uses of plates and Technic bricks in here, just as like fillers, plates, and things like that. Now you're probably very anxious, you just want to see how the safe works. Well here is how it works. What I'm going to do is start at the number zero and I'm going to turn the safe dial to the right twice. Once I hit zero, I'm going to go to the first number. Once I've hit the first number, I'm going to change directions and go left. And I'm going to pass zero again, pass the number, and I'm going to stop at the number the second time. Next, I'm going to go to the very last number by turning right again. I'm not going to pass it, I'm just going to go straight to it. Once I'm at that number, I'm going to turn the deadbolt. And once the deadbolt is open, I'm going to push on the safe from the back and pull it out. And then once you pulled it out, as you can see, you just open the top up and put your stuff inside. And put the top back on when you're done and shove it right back in the safe box. To lock it again, you push the safe all the way in, turn the deadbolt, and then just randomly turn this a couple times. And as you can see, the deadbolt no longer works and the safe can no longer be pushed out. For me, the mechanics of the safe were definitely the hardest part in making the safe. Once I had made the mechanics and the actual inside of the safe, making this outside box was pretty easy. I'm going to show you now what it looks like on the inside of the safe when you're putting in the combination. So here's what the actual safe looks like when it's locked inside the safe box. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. As I said, what you do is you start out at the number zero and you're going to turn to the right twice. You do this to make sure all the little safe pins on the inside are lined up so when you start entering the combination it actually works. Next you're going to stop at the first number. You're going to go back to the left in the left direction past the number the first time and stop at the number the second time. Next you're going to go all the way back to the third number. Once you're at the third number, as you can see, everything is actually lined up inside and when you turn the deadbolt, it goes in perfectly. Although I did use Jason's instructions for the inside of this mock so I could get the mechanics just right, I didn't follow the instructions at all when making the outside and I just kind of made it with the pieces I had and pieces I had to make it look good. I'm really, really happy with the way the safe turned out, and I'm really glad that Jason decided to make a video, make the mock, and as well make the instructions for how to make this safe. As I said, his video will be in the description below, and then there you can check out the instructions he made for this mock. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more or BrickLover18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our BrickLink. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. 
thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.